In this video we're going to talk about how to calculate an effective annual rate and the first thing we're going to do is work a problem and do this in Excel and then I'll show you the formula and how that can be worked using the formula. So the problem says Alphanumeric wants to expand. Applegate Bank offers Alpha a loan with monthly interest and a 5% annual rate. Bounty Bank offers a 6% loan with interest due at the end of the year. What is the difference in the effective annual rates offered by the two banks? So let's start out with Bounty. Bounty is a 6% loan due at the end of the year, so that is the annual rate. So if we put in 0.06, that's our annual rate. Now I'll make this a little bigger, so there you can see it and we can also well, let's do this while we're at it why is Excel being so fussy here okay bear with me so if we right click on format cells and we go to percentage two decimal places Bounty Bank is at six percent Okay, so now what do we have to do here for Applegate Bank? If we open up our function box, we can go to Financial Functions, and if we type in here, Effective Annual Rate, it should bring up something that calculates Effective Annual Rate, which it does. And so let me slide this over here so you can see this with me. Our nominal rate is 5%. So let's put in 5%. And our number of periods is 12. So you can see out here it calculates our effective rate as 5.12%. Okay, and I want to make that same size as the other one so I'll go to different font okay so now we have the two and if we want to know what the difference is which is what it's asking all we have to do is put in an equal sign take the bounty bank and minus the Applegate bank and so we have 0.88% Okay, so that's our answer, and that's how you would do it in Excel. I also want to show you how this would work with a formula. So let me get my pen, and I'm going to show you the formula. So we're talking about the um, effective annual rate, so we call that EAR. some reason my pen is not working so let me get it back here and let's see if we can get it to go this time okay EAR effective annual rate and we're calculating Applegate Bank so we'll call it sub A and that equals we're going to put a bracket here 1 plus K subnominal. Nominal means nominal rate or the stated rate. And we're going to divide that by M. And M is the number of periods. Okay, and then what we, we have to do is close this bracket and take that to the nth power or number of periods minus one. This is the formula for effective annual rate. So let's put some numbers in this formula. Okay, we need our brackets. We've got one plus what's our nominal rate for Applegate Bank? Our nominal rate was five percent. So we're going to put in 0.05 and divide that by 12 months 
and then we're going to take that to the 12th power minus 1 okay let's come down here so if we take one point and if we multiply divide 0 0.05, do it on your calculator, divide it by 12. It helps if I turn it on. 0 0.05 divided by 12. I get 0 0.00417. So let's put that in here. 0 0.00417 to the 12th power and then we're going to minus out one still so let's take 1.0 let's let's take that to the second to the 12th power and you should come out if you do this on your calculator you should come out to 1.05 116 minus 1 and then this should be 0.05116 or if you round that you're going to get 5.12 percent and if you'll notice that was equal to what we had in Excel so if we take it's this one here. It's what we have up here. So that's how we calculated it using the formula. We're done and we'll see you in the next slide.